The King and Queen of Spain have arrived in Cuba. It's the first, of, first official visit by a Spanish monarch. It's also the 500th anniversary of the founding of the city of Havana. On their trip, the royals will see much of the restoration work that's reviving the city's colonial architecture. From Havana, Will Grant. It's a visit heavy with historic symbolism. When King Felipe stepped off the plane with Queen Leticia, he became the first Spanish king to make an official visit to Cuba. The upcoming 500th anniversary of Havana seemed a good opportunity to the communist-run government to show them the island which Christopher Columbus once described as the most beautiful land ever seen. For years, Havana has been slowly restoring its resplendent architecture, like the Capitolio building, and the government is keen to show its best face to the Spanish royals. The royals arrive at a complicated time, too. Cuba is feeling the pressure of new economic sanctions from Washington targeted at the island's fuel supply. As the Spanish royals are driven around the city, they may notice the long queues for petrol. This Spanish royal visit is important to the Cuban government. As the Spanish king laid a wreath to Cuba's national hero, José Martí, the island once known as the Pearl of the Caribbean needs international support at the moment, even if it does come from their former colonizers. Will Grant, BBC News, Havana.